This video is a response, a bit of a delayed response to a request for a tutorial um, demonstrating the Korg Micro Sampler controlling a VST and sampling that VST and then using that sampled sound in keyboard mode to make something new. Uh, it's a lot of words. Here's a little bit of action. Okay, using Energy XT software and uh, Mr. Ray uh, VST electric piano instrument here. Um, I'll show you the, uh, if you go file, setup, I don't know how many of you are using Energy XT, uh, but I recommended it runs efficiently and very little latency, if any, um, on an old machine here. Uh, micro sampler 1 MIDI in is checked, micro sampler 1 keyboard knob is checked. I'm um, using the ASIO for all plugin here, uh, or ASIO controls to um, make the latency even less. All right, and I'm using Korg Micro Sampler to control it as I said before. All right, what I wanna do is first uh, tap a key that you're gonna to wanna to sample to. Uh, I'm gonna choose 36th key. Uh, I'm in gate mode and uh, I'll hit sample once, go through my settings, I'm at 24k, mono, uh, trigger threshold 01, and time maximum. Uh, okay, your global settings. Uh, I've got the global channel set to 1, the keyboard MIDI channel set to 2. Um, I've gotten some odd results if you put it on 1. It, when you record your playback, for some reason it's pitched pretty low. Um, I haven't really messed with that a whole lot, but keyboard MIDI channel 2. Local, if you have any samples on any of the keys that you're going to press while sampling, turn local off, or else you will hear those samples at the same time that you hear the VST. If you don't have any sounds on those keys, don't worry. You can leave local on if you want. Uh, we'll get out of there. Hit sampling one more time. The key I'm sampling to is lit up. And I'm going to press 37th key. Oh. Turn sampling off. Now... Uh, if you turned local off at this point you would want to hold edit tap global go back and turn your local back on all right um, I sequenced up a drum pattern earlier I'll switch to keyboard mode select the sample that I just took I want to put a velocity control on that so I hold edit um, if you tap level, I think it's uh, control knob one. If you turn uh, up to the, let's see, yeah, to the right one notch from level, uh, it'll be velocity intensity. I turn that to 63. Okay. Okay. Like that so much. If you turn record off, hold enter, tap record. Oh, you gotta hit stop. Hold enter, tap record. It'll undo the latest pattern sequencer record data. Uh, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna jump in about halfway in here.
you're holding the key that's been recorded, uh, when it comes back around to it, it'll delete that first pressing. So that's what that silence was in there. <laughs> you get the idea there, so... I'll show you another quick trick. Um, if you're if you switch back to sample mode, uh, tap a key that's open. In this case, yeah, the 34th key. All right, um, and I'll hit resampling here. So this resample light is on. Um, hit sampling once. Hit it twice. Go to keyboard mode, and then. Say I want to take a chord or something in there. Okay, go back to sample. I've sampled a chord. Let's uh, delete that last record data. Let's try that. I'm gonna jump back in in the middle here and see what happens. tap the key here so if I hold enter shift while it's in record mode I passed it but that's and then you hold the key that you want to delete it'll delete that key then Thanks for watching, guys.